You want to avoid drawing your lips like this because it looks like people have lip liner on. Okay, so here's a quick tip for drawing the mouth. Just start by drawing the opening of the mouth. And this is going to be different depending on who you're looking at. Then you want to lightly define, you know, where the lips are. And this is if the light is coming from the top. Now, make this a little darker. Right. Usually going to be a little bit of a shadow right here. And then figure out where the bottom lip comes to. There's usually kind of tucks in, usually underneath your lip, going to your chin. And there is usually kind of a little shadow for the dip that comes above your lips. And depending on the person, there's going to be a bit of a shadow on the sides of the mouth. So think of the mouth, you know, as, as shadows, I guess, and shading. It's usually a shelf that comes out, and depending on the mouth, this might change a little bit, but you have really chapped lips. You know, you can add some of those details and those lines in. You can make it look a little bit more realistic. There is one way to draw a mouth, and you can smudge. Now let's think about the mouth from the side. When you're drawing a mouth from the side, sometimes we have like the tendency to want to do this. So you're gonna look at that person's lip and see, first of all, does it come out a little bit more than the bottom one? And then you're gonna just decide, you know, do they have that M kind of exaggeration or do they not? Some people have thinner lips, some people have fuller lips. Usually there's going to be a little shadow, you know, that lip comes in right here and underneath. So there's a pretty simple um, mouth from the side. I hope that was a helpful tutorial for drawing the mouth. I'm drawing a three-quarter view um, of this girl and you'll see how her mouth really is just shadows. So I hope you have a wonderful day.